UnbelievableBeats.com production. Hi, this is Sean Friedman with UnbelievableBeats.com. Just wanted to go over how to get that good sub bass for bass lines to go behind your kick drums or whatever where you want to use sub bass. So I'm going to go through FL Studio's sub bass and also Reason. I'll start with FL Studio. Um, one of the first ways would be the 3X um, oscillator, which is um, you pretty much go to channels, add one, and go to 3X OSC, which is a a low frequency oscillator. And what sub bass really is is just a sine wave and it's a sine wave that's played at like a lower scale on the keyboard just a lower note pretty much so when you when you load this up it's gonna sound like this I'm playing the uh... this is the 3x OSC from FL Studio so you could it has three oscillators in a row and this comes loaded when you load it up so just lower the volume on this one and lower the volume on this one and now you just are with this first one on top, dealing with this on top. So, and then up here you can you can see the uh, the actual waveform. So that sounds pretty decent for your sub bass. And then you can add in these are different shapes for the sine wave sub bass. So if I go to this one and then raise up the volume a little bit. Okay, see this one with a square, but then I would you could just add a little bit. And then you can also add in the third one. And I just lowered this volume all the way back down. I'm on the first one now. So that was a cool little effect with the CRS uh, course little uh, knob there. Okay, next way is going to be the Citrus or Citrus plugin. You would have to actually purchase this from FL Studio. And to get that going, I'll just delete it. You would go to Channels add one and go to citrus and this thing you can make your own sounds and it's got some presets as well and it's got a whole bunch of parameters you can change to make your own sounds pretty amazing actually okay here's all the presets but for the sub bass little tip and trick all you gotta do is go up to the corner here and go to default so now I'm on default and I'm going to play it. See, that's a high sound. Then when I play it lower on the keyboard, here we go. Got that sub bass feel. Now go to uh, operator one, which is this little tab. And here it is again. There's that sine wave symbol for the sub bass. And this could be changed. You can click click on this, this, or this. Uh, this could be changed here. This is the uh, shape. See, it's going to change the sound. Okay, I'll be careful there. Um, this is the tension. And you got the skew. And all these just affect the parameters, so you're going to want to experiment with that. There's a volume knob here, and uh, you know that's pretty much the sub bass for Citrus. And you have all these other parameters here, and you can make your own sounds with uh, Citrus as well. And it has some pretty cool presets. All right, uh, next way, which probably might be a little bit better sound quality, would be to rewire this with Reason. And I have a tutorial on that. If you want to look at my other tutorial, it's called How to Rewire um, Reason into FL Studio. 
but I'll just go ahead and show you the example. Um, this actual beat right now, that's actually, the sub bass from that is actually from, I think that's Subtractor. But I'll go ahead and show you Subtractor. All right, I'm just going to, all right, Subtractor, where you at? Okay, sub bass. Yeah, all right, I'm playing it right here. I'll just put a pattern for you. All right, that's, that's the second pattern, but uh, let me go. I could actually just play the whole pattern for you by, copy this part. Pattern, song, I can solo it for you. Okay. Um, this is this, this using the subtractor. And now it sounds like there's a little tap at the very beginning of this, which adds a little flavor for it. It's, it's pretty good, pretty good signal. And then here's the sine wave again. So to get that going, once you load up Subtractor, you have to right click on Subtractor and go to Initialize Patch. Boom. And that just gave me that. So, you know, to get that basic sine wave symbol is this first thing here. This is this is your oscillator one. So you could adjust the uh, the shape of it again right here. Next, next, and there it is. That little S is the standard sine wave for your sub bass. And you can also add a second oscillator is right here right below it OSC2 and if you click this little square it's gonna mix both together I'm gonna click it now and then just added both so you could actually double up your double uh, you can double up your sine wave there and then it's got a whole gang of parameters obviously so the subtra uh, subtractor, right click, initialize patch, and you go through all these here. And also, it keeps going. It's got all types of, um, besides the presets, but when you go through this, scroll up and down, and if you want to add in the number two, you scroll up and down here, and you can make up your own sounds. And here's the octave, here's a semitone, and other s the scent up and down parameter. It's probably going to change it here. Oh, okay, you can barely tell. Yeah, I see. I'm not going to mess with that. All right, next way in Reason. It's, so, it's very similar, but it's going to be with the Maelstrom. And when you load up the Maelstrom, let me just do this because I know this is going to want to play. Um, Maelstrom. Okay, you load up the Maelstrom and it brings up that patch right there. Let's raise up the volume a little bit. Uh, okay, it loads up a Vesper. Alright, I'm on this Maelstrom right here. Um, I load it up and it's uh, on Vesper, so I'm going to right click, go to Initialize Patch, bam. I got my sine wave and I got my sine wave sub bass. Okay, that wasn't working. Um, let's see why. Okay, I see why. Um, that was a different channel. Let me do this one more time. Okay, there. There's my note going. All right, loads up on Vesper. Right click, initialize patch, and uh, it gave me my sine waves. And there we go. And this is a pretty good quality too. Um, and then you can adjust. You can go through this one again. Can't really tell the difference yet. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, there's.
your sign sawtooth Not sure exactly what's going on with there, but obviously you can change a bunch of parameters and figure out what's going on. But just right click and initialize patch, and you have your basic sine wave. Okay, next one would probably be Thor, same idea. When you load it up, it's, it's on this epic poly patch. To get the sub bass sine wave, you're going to want to click that little show programmer, little tab, and then you got your oscillators again. And if you look right here, there's those shapes. So um, this has a whole bunch of presets. And let's see here. If I go this shape, can I initialize patch? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, right click initialize patch and there it just gave me my analog oscillator and that's the one where I just did initialize patch but there's another one there's another one and the last one there's that standard S sine wave so that Thor sounds pretty good octave See, when you go higher up, it's just that sine wave sound, semitone, keyboard, and then there's other filters, and obviously this has a whole bunch of presets as well. So that was the 3X OSC, Citrus, Subtractor, Maelstrom, and Thor. They all sound a tiny bit different. Um, once you get them onto the FL Studio Mixer, um, if the sub bass is getting too loud, once you play it back in your system or your car stereo and for mixing and mastering and to get the best sound quality, you can, um, there's a little tip and trick. Right now I'm, I'm on still on the Thor and this is coming to mixer track 26 right here, playing it. Um, you can go to this equalization right here. And this first one is the uh, low, and you could just bring it down a tiny bit, and it'll show in here how much you're bringing it down. So when I start to bring this down, it's going to say, see negative 0.2, negative 0.6, now negative 3, negative 5, so all the way down. Now watch when I bring it up. See. So that's the low, so you could bring it down a tiny, tiny, tiny bit and then see how that sounds in your car stereo or your um, speakers. So you can bring it down like minus one maybe. If it was, you know, a little, if it was uh, too hard sounding with your particular mix. But uh, that's just one little tip and trick to kind of uh, control the sub bass. Okay, and then there's one more way um, to get sub bass you might not be familiar with, and that's called the Boo Bass. Um, that would be under Channels, Add One, and Boo Bass. It's an FL Studio plugin, and it sounds very bad, and that sounds very bad as well. <laughs> All right, Boo Bass. Alright, it comes with these three little settings, but it sounds pretty bad, but the mid, if you go all the way to the left, and then treble all the way to the left, you have more of a workable more of a workable bass, and you can add a little bit of the mid and treble back. Actually, both to the left and the bass all the way up. I think that's what I usually do. Bass maybe all the way up and then fix these. And if you know how to manipulate your keyboard into making it sound like it's a guitar player really plucking, you kind of got your, uh, you know, once this is with your other instruments, it's going to sound a lot better. Uh, it could add some flavor if you want to add like it's a real guitar bass player, you know, plucking along with your bass line. 
All right, and uh, those are the ways to get your sub base. Good luck with your projects. You can use the sub base as a baseline. You can use it behind your kicks and always send it to this mixer to get more control over it. Um, lower this a tiny, tiny, tiny bit if you want a little bit more control and not as much sub bass. Or you can just ad adjust the individual notes if certain notes are coming up too strong. Um, and of course, you could use your own EQ and other plugins and other compression to help uh, once it's on your mixer you, to kind of get control over the sub bass. You can compress it, limit it, um, and other techniques. All right, Sean Friedman with Unbelievable Beats signing off. Thanks. Unbelievablebeats.com production.